with the help of available information we are try to find out the missing value the current ratio was 2 is to 1 is given we know the current ratio formula current assets divided by current liability after getting the sales only we are try to calculate for 25% Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. I am Natesh, lecturer in commerce, Vidyashram First Grade College, Mysore, the temple of excellence. We are in the unit 2, section 4, fourth semester of BBA, management accounting. The chapter name is ratio analysis. In the previous session, which is related to the ratio analysis problem, and today my agenda, which is a continuations problem, the different types of a ratio analysis problem. So here, the question, the following are the incomplete trading and P&L account and balance sheet. Okay, so which is looking like a trading and P&L account ledger format. So few item is missing. With the help of available information, we are trying to find out the missing value. So here opening stock, the purchase value is missing here. Okay, and the sales value is not given. Closing stock value is not given. But the total is given, the gross profit is given, purchase return, purchase uh, value is given. Again, moving to the P&L account, uh, so there is uh, the total, you need to take a total. And here, the commission is missing, okay? So the total part, whatever it is there here. Yeah? Under balance sheet, uh, general reserve is missing, okay? And the stock value is missing, the data's value is missing. 10% debenture value is missing. After getting this value, you easily we can take the total. So find out missing item with the help of other detail, whatever the available information. We know the formula. Uh, we are trying to apply the formula. So easily we can find out the missing value. So first one, the current ratio was 2 is to 1 is given. We know the current ratio formula, current assets divided by current liability. Again, uh, closing stock is 25% of sales. Okay, the sales value is missing here. Okay, we need to find out. Proposed dividend was 40% of paid up capital. The paid up capital, again, we need to refer the paid up capital is 5 lakhs. And the gross profit ratio uh, is directly is given 60%. Okay, the gross profit ratio is given 60%. Uh, moving to a uh, fifth adjustment, Amount transfer to general reserve. Here the general reserve value is missing. So that's why there is a related information also provided. Same proposed dividend. How much you are calculating proposed dividend based on the paid up capital? The same as it is you need to treat as a general reserve. And balance of P&L account is calculated 10% of proposed dividend. After getting the proposed dividend, so we need to calculate the P&L accounts because in the balance sheet, P&L account is missing. So the related information we need to refer. Again, seventh one, commission income is one seventh of the net income. The net income is given in the question 3,50,000. Okay, and the last one, the balance of general reserve is twice the current year transfer amount. Twice, because whatever we are calculating which is related to uh, general reserve, there is one adjustment here, amount transfer to general reserve is a proposed dividend. So whatever we are getting based on the proposed dividend, we are trying to take for uh, twice. So here the trading account, uh, it's very simple. This is a, a complete, uh, here the question mark is uh, given in the question. So first the calculations part we need to go. So that's what here. Uh, balance sheet also wherever the question mark is clearly specified which is a missing figure so I have just filled here uh, first one we know the gross profit ratio uh, which is given in the uh, adjustment 60 percent so the format or the formula also we know the gross profit divided by sales so the gross profit is uh, uh, margin is given 60 percent that's what I have written in the debit side uh, left side and the gross profit which is given in the question uh, 7,18,421, the sales value is missing because the formula is having sales. So with the help of gross profit ratio as well as gross profit, so if you try to go for cross multiplication, so you need to find out sales. That's what I have written in the left side. So again, 7,18,425, which is going for denominator, cross multiplication. Now sales value is nothing but your 
eleven lakh ninety seven thousand three sixty eight. You must remember the formula. Okay, as per the formula, as per information I have written here, so easily we got the sales value. Okay, eleven lakh ninety seven thousand three sixty eight. Moving for the next adjustment. So there is one adjustment related to the closing stock. Huh? Sales into twenty five percent. After getting the sales only, we are try to calculate for twenty five percent. So here, if you calculate, so the closing stock we are getting two lakh ninety nine thousand three forty eight, which is applicable for the P and L account, a uh, trading account, credit side as well as balance sheet uh, asset side. So after getting, there is one adjustment for proposed dividend calculation. So the paid up capital, which is clearly given in the question, five lakh into forty percent. If you calculate, so the paid up proposed dividend we are getting two lakh. So with the help of proposed dividend, we are moving for the general reserve. So general reserve twice we need to take. General reserve find out as per the proposed dividend. Proposed dividend we got two lakh. So that the proposed dividend of general reserve is nothing but here. Two lakhs. Okay. So moving to the commission, how we are calculating? So one seventh part of the net profit, which is given in the question, uh, net profit is three lakh fifty thousand into one by seven. If you do the commission value is fifty. Okay. Now moving to P and L account. So which is nothing but it is a ten percent proposed dividend. Uh, so ten percent. If you calculate the P and L account, twenty thousand we are getting. So uh, next one debenture. The rate of interest is ten percent. The interest amount is thirty thousand because in the question clearly specified the debenture value. Here ten percent of debenture. The question mark the three lakhs value, which is a missing value. So easily we can calculate here. So we need to calculate the interest. How we are calculating here? Thirty into and ten percent we are getting three lakhs. So the debenture value is a difference amount. Moving to current ratio, which is clearly specified, two is to one is given. So the formula current assets divided by current liability. So now which is the left side two. So that's why the current ratio have written two. So uh, you need to elaborate the current assets. What and all is coming here. So in the balance sheet, stock, uh, data, bank balance is given current asset divided by current liability. So in the current liability, directly liability side, uh, which is clearly specified, current liability value. So here uh, the stock value we got to two lakh ninety thousand after calculating, and the debtors value we don't know. So that's what the opening bank balance also given in the question sixty two thousand five hundred divided by current liability. So six lakh, which is given in the liability side balance sheet. Okay, now moving to what we are doing, we are try to go for cross multiplication. So two into six lakh, twelve lakhs we are getting. Debtors we don't know. Okay, so whatever it is there, the debtors value, uh, the debtors value is missing. Okay, the stock value we got three lakh ninety. So after subtracting this value, the debtors value eight lakh thirty eight thousand one fifty eight. We are getting easily we got the value for debtors. Now last uh, next balance of general reserve, which is clearly specified twice, right? So it is a twice of current year provision for general reserve. We got to know the pre, uh, proposed dividend of two lakhs. So the same thing. The two lakhs what we are getting the related information we are we need to consider so that the balance of general reserve is a two lakhs into two times if you do so here four lakhs we are getting what about the existing value so which is also carried now the total general reserve is available for six lakh for this year we got four lakh and last year we got two lakhs moving forward. Uh, Here there is one more question for the uh, from the following information prepare balance sheet of ABP Limited show the details of what thing so paid up capital is given for fifty thousand a plant and machinery is given one lakh twenty five thousand the total sales per annum is given five lakhs the gross profit percentage is given twenty five percent so the annual credit sales which is related to data okay eighty percent of the net sales. Uh, based on the net sales, we are trying to calculate eighty percent. The current ratio is given two, and the inventory turnover is given four, and the fixed asset turnover turnover is nothing but your net sales. Okay, and two is given. A uh, sales return is given twenty five percent of the sales, whatever it is given in the question, 
and the average uh, collection period is 73 days here and the bank credit to trade credit to 2 is given cash to inventory 1 is to 15 total debts to the current liability 3 which is given in the question so moving the first one we need to find out the net sales net sales how we are finding the total sales minus sales return the sales return is given here 80 percent right so here the uh, sales return in the question the return of the inventory sales return is given 20 percent of the sales means uh, now the total sales is 5 lakh 20 percent if you calculate uh, 1 lakh after subtracting we are getting the net sales is a uh, 4 lakh so why the net sales is very important so further any other formula which is carry for the net sale of course we need to depend on the net sales now moving to the credit sales how here there is one adjustment for credit sales here here the credit sale the total sales is given annual credit sales is 80 percent of the net sales is given from the year net sales after calculating 80 percent 5 lakh into 80 percent 4 lakhs we are getting so here we are trying to find out the 3 lakh 20 thousand on the uh, because after detecting the sales return we got only for 4 lakh so 4 lakh into 80 percent uh, 3 lakh 20 thousand we are getting now there is one adjustment for grass profit now the grass profit 25 percent is clearly specified so how we are calculating the 25 percent on the net sales we need to calculate so after subtracting sales return 4 lakhs we are getting 4 lakh into 25 percent if you calculate 1 lakhs uh, which is related to the grass profit profit is always based on the sales and the cost of goods sold how we are finding easily we can find out from the net sales if you subtract the grass crop return easily we can find out the cost of goods sold why it is very important because next one inventory calculation inventory turnover is which is depending so that's what net, net sales minus grass crop if you subtract we are getting the cost of goods sold is a 3 lakh now moving to the inventory inventory turnover ratio uh, the cost of goods sold divided by inventory turnover the inventory turnover which is clearly specified for so that's what the cost of goods sold numerator we are writing 3 lakh divided by inventory turnover which is given in the question 4 if you simplify we are getting 75,000 moving forward so now the receivable turnover which is nothing but the yearly 365 days so here in the question they clearly specified 73 days is an average collection period so that's what we need to take 365 divided by 73 5 times so now receivable easily we can calculate based on the receivable means whenever the credit sales will happen the credit sales divided by receivable turnover the credit sales we we got to know 3 lakh 20 thousand divided by receivable turnover 5 times so 64 thousand we are getting now from this uh, cash is one fifth of the inventory one fifth because which is clearly specified one by fifth one fifth okay so that's what we are trying to go for here calculation one fifth of the inventory so 75,000 into one by five you two you are getting 5,000 now total current assets how you can easily find out. after getting the inventory value we need to add for all the current assets here inventory plus receivable plus cash so inventory we got 75,000 and 64,000 we got receivable and the cash is available 5,000 so after taking this total the total current assets 1,44,000 why it is very important because of further calculation and the current liability current assets divided by 2 current assets we got 1,44,000 divided by 2 if you simplify we are getting 72,000 uh, next bank credit uh, 2 by 3 into current liability so the current liability we got 72,000 everything is interconnected so there is something related information we need to refer here so that's what uh, 2 by 3 into 72,000 we are getting 48,000 is a bank credit so moving to the trade credit 1 by 2 of the bank credit or we can say 1 by 3 of the current liability both are giving same answer so here the bank credit we got 48,000 into 1 by 2 so 24,000 is a trade credit 
Now total debt which is nothing but uh, current liability into 3 ton. If you multiply, you are getting total debt sir, 2 lakh 16 thousand. Okay. Now long term debt, how we, easily we can find out. So the total debt, whatever we are getting, we need to subtract the current liability. Okay. So easily we can get uh, 2 lakh 16 thousand minus 72 thousand if you subtract. So the long term debts we are getting 1 lakh 44 thousand. So to find out the fixed asset, uh, 1 by 2 of the net sales. Now net sales we got 4 lakh. 1 by 2 means we are getting the fixed asset 2 lakhs here. And uh, other fixed assets which is nothing but the fixed assets minus uh, plant and machinery which is given. So if you subtract you are getting 75,000 is the other fixed asset. And moving to the total assets, how easily find out fixed asset plus current asset. So fixed asset we got uh, two lakhs plus current assets we got one lakh forty four thousand. The total assets available for three lakh forty four thousand. So net worth, which is nothing but the net worth is a uh, total assets minus total debt. Okay, the equity which is called we call it as an equity. So debt as total assets minus debt if you subtract total assets we got 3,44,000 minus debt to 2,16,000 if you subtract uh, net worth easily you can get 1,28,000. So again uh, with the help of uh, information we need to find out reserves and surplus how uh, net worth minus paid up capital. Net worth uh, we got 2,28,000. So paid up capital which is given in the question 50,000. If you subtract you are getting 78,000. Whatever the information which is related to balance sheet easily we can post. Now uh, again the paid up capital we got uh, around in the question which is clearly spaced by 50,000. And the reserves and surplus we got 78,000. Long term debts we got uh, 1,44,000. Bank credit we calculated uh, 48,000. And the trade credit we got 24,000. Moving to the asset side, plant and machinery 1,25,000 and other fixed assets 75,000. Inventory we calculate 75,000. Receivable 64,000 we calculate. Cash is available 5,000. Both side we, uh, which is getting tally for 3,44,000. Keep on watch for next section. Thank you.